Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Wilhite, and I want to help you learn about three myths relating to gluten. These myths keep people from trying out gluten-free and end up continuing to suffer with their health troubles, which for some can really suck the life right out of them. So the first myth is, I don't have celiac disease, which is gluten allergy, so gluten doesn't cause me harm. Truth, it is not necessary to have celiac disease for gluten to wreak havoc on your system. There are more people who actually have gluten sensitivity than an allergy to gluten, and gluten sensitivity contrib contributes to a tremendous cascade of health problems. Myth number two, I don't eat much gluten, so I don't have to be concerned. Truth, that is so not true. The fact is, even just a tiny bit of gluten can result in great harm. Gluten is incredibly inflammatory. If someone has chronic health issues or is heading for them, it's all or nothing with gluten. Either go gluten-free or don't, because even a little brings out ongoing health struggles that may continue to get worse. Myth number three, <laughs> I don't have digestive or GI-related problems, so gluten isn't causing me any problems. Truth, that is very misleading. Some think that if they don't have any noticeable digestive or gut problems, whether that is bloating, gas, pain, constipation, or diarrhea, or others, gluten doesn't bother them. This myth is so completely false. For every gluten-sensitive person that has GI symptoms, there are eight with non-GI related problems. That should really open your eyes to the extensiveness of health problems that can result from gluten. Besides significant digestive and gut problems, even if you don't have noticeable symptoms, gluten can, gluten can also result in problems in various different areas. Some of those areas include our skin. They, there's different kind of skin rashes like eczema, psoriasis, um, psoriatic arthritis, hair loss, various rashes and skin lesions. Um, it also can affect the muscles. It can present with muscle problems cause problems such as muscle weakness and damage, even breathing problems and choking due to muscles needed for those functions. Some other problems it can create that are outside the GI system are brain, mood, and personality disorders. It can affect our brain by causing central nervous system problems, which cause direct impact on our speech, our balance, our posture, walking, running, nerve damage, anxiety, depression, ADHD, and on and on. So another non-GI related symptom from gluten sensitivity is that it can affect our nerves. Gluten can result in nerve dysfunction that causes pain and numbness, carpal tunnel, bowel problems, sexual dysfunction, incontinence. Now it can also cause dysfunction that creates pain and fatigue. Because of the significant inflammation and damage to the gut, it triggers a cascade of inflammation and dysfunction in the rest of the body which could lead to ongoing fatigue and pain. Now there are another biggie is autoimmunity. Gluten is very, very influential in autoimmunity. I cannot stress it enough. It can nearly affect every system and function in our body. We have, there's over a hundred recognized autoimmune conditions and most functional medicine doctors will recommend gluten-free for anyone with an autoimmune condition. If you struggle from any of these or other ongoing health struggles, gluten may be a contributing factor. If you want to learn more about gluten and be gluten-free, I'm hosting a free event January 18th to 24th. It's a free seven-day gluten-free challenge coming up in less than two weeks. You'll get awesome accountability and support, and as an expert, I'll provide you what it takes to succeed in going gluten-free. I've been there, and many of my clients have too. I may see, it may seem daunting to go, go gluten-free, but I can help you avoid the mistakes most people make and also help you avoid gluten without feeling restricted. The challenge includes a free meal plan and recipes and so much more to help you navigate trying gluten-free. You can make a huge start in 2020 to your journey of having relief from your ongoing health struggles and ultimately get on a journey to your healthy life back. So take just one week of your time in January to do a free gluten-free challenge and training. It's free. What do you have to lose? Until next time, God bless you and enjoy your day.